Hello friend, this is Sanjay Kumar, founder of Selectors Hub. Today we can verify the selectors of like XPath and CSS selector normally. Like you just have to paste the, those values and we are able to verify. But to verify playwright selectors, we have to put in a lot of effort. Like we have to open a new window, then lots of lot many things we are doing. So that we will see like how Selectors Hub has solved this problem and how easily we can do those things and how easily we can now verify playwright selectors as well. So before going further, I would request you if you are new here, please subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any upcoming innovation updates from Selectors Hub, Test Case Studio and from my end. Thank you. Okay, so today like if we have to verify this X path, this is an X path. Okay, so we can just simply copy this, go back to the uh, like page here and you can simply paste this like let me just close this and right click and inspect here and we can suppose we want to verify we can simply paste this so we are able to verify this x path likewise you can verify any of them i mean any x path and css selector this way we are able to verify good but if we have to verify this selector which is a playwright selectors because playwright have introduced lots lots of new selectors to locate the element which is very good those selectors are really good to inspect i mean to locate elements on the web page it has made a lot more easier things so if we have to verify these selectors so how we are verifying them today like how playwright users and everybody is verifying these selectors we have to like run our code so uh, generally like we have to run this code in uh, playwright uh, sorry debug mode and then it used to open the playwright window so basically to verify the playwright selectors we have to open the playwright window and there we can verify these selectors so suppose if we have to verify this selectors this is all we have to do like we have to run the code like this then we have to like of course you will have to go to that page where you want to verify so that selector is for from this practice page so here you will have to inspect and open console let me just zoom in and there you will write playwright here and dollar or you can write dollar dollar so that you get all matching notes not just one and here you can paste the value hit enter okay so i have taken double quotes twice so let me just make it inside single quote and hit enter so there are 77 matching nodes and we have to verify this way so you see that to verify one playwright selector you have to run the code you have to go to here in debugger mode you have to open console you have to type playwright dot dollar dollar but generally if you see that how we used to verify xpath we just simply simply copy and paste the xpath in selectors up and we are able to verify is it possible can we directly copy this selector playwright selector and paste it here and we get the result because if you paste this selector let's say or uh, like yes this selector if you paste this selector here you are getting zero of zero in dev tools of course you cannot verify and if you go to this console also and you try to verify in <coughs> that way like you verify x path or css selector dollar dollar that is also not possible so in that situation can we verify this yes now selector sub has made it possible with the help of playwright libraries to verify these selectors in selector sub now you just hit enter and you see the magic you are able to verify them and all the 77 matching notes you can see it here which all those 77 match are here so this way now it has become so so easy to verify playwright selectors you need not to run the code here you need not to go to this uh, debugger mode opening console typing playwright dot dot dollar dollar no nothing you need not to do all those sorts of things you just open your code like you are verifying xpath in css selector you can verify playwright selectors in selectors of you just copy paste them here and hit enter you would be able to verify them so 
now whether that is a css selector whether that is an x path whether that is an playwright selector or js path or jquery everything you would be able to verify in selector sir so it has become so so easy now you need not to you see that any of the playwright selector you chose whatever if that is like really huge or big that all you can verify like uh, here from this uh, Naveen Automation Labs GitHub repository he has created lots of really good tutorials so if you take any any X path from here let, let's say this one if we take this X path and try to verify this one so like he is taking this in uh, locators near elements so if we go to this page so this is from this page only so I will verify this so they are easily we are able to verify before selector sub uh, was not supporting uh, when selector sub was not supporting that's how people were uh, like verifying selectors these playwright selectors they have to run the code they have to go to here in console they have to type this playwright command here again and again and then paste that value here so here let me just put it in, inside double quotes and hit enter that's where generally we uh, people were verifying so here it is showing malform selectors 400 though that was showing there but here it is correct only <clears throat> so sometimes if you will be making any mistake selectors sub will take care of that it will it is showing correct result here i'm not showing what is wrong here but yeah so if you will make any mistake also like at the same time if you will be making any mistake in the player uh, in the selectors like let's say uh, this uh, parenthesis is missing so if you hit enter it will tell you that what is missing in your x path so that is another great feature in selector so while if you will verify this i'm um, same let's say just copy this same selector here and try to verify this one here And I will paste this here and hit enter it will not let you know that what is exactly missing so this is a throwing some other error well actually there is here parenthesis is missing and if we close this this is finding matching node but there it is failing so selectors will always give you the correct result and correct information if you will be missing anything like let's say single quote is missing it will let you know that single quote is missing in your selector so this way it will help you a lot to save a lot of time and a uh, lot of value like let me take one more uh, complex scenarios here so here let me zoom in <clears throat> so on this page here you see that some uh, really good and complex selectors are written by Naveen here so you see this input colon near this selectors now if we have to verify this selectors we need not to anymore open uh, run the code or go back to that uh, window you just simply copy and paste the selector here and hit enter it will verify and show you it will of course like all other selectors of great features are there it will scroll the element to the viewable area it will show you the matching node here it will highlight that if you hover on that that is there it will also show you the css selector for your uh, playwright selector so if you don't want to use this one you can use this as well so lots of other great features are there for that i would uh, really recommend that please uh, watch the detailed tutorial here of selectors of uh, which are also there in selectors of youtube channel so please watch that to understand all those features here so you will learn a lot now another selector is this one which is really huge let's copy this and simply just paste the here that selector and hit enter you will get all matching nodes here so this way it is very easy now to verify all such kind of selectors which are uh, all such playwright selectors which is uh, really time taking to verify it today and this uh, like lots of effort you have to put in because suppose if you have to write a playwright selector so today if you have to write you have to like switch between elements tab and console suppose if we have to write a playwright selector for this element how you will write this you will have to go to here console you write play right here dot and then dollar or suppose you want to uh, like generate that there is a selector method yes you can do that but if you want to write it here so <laughs> here you will have to 
go to console and then you will have to switch back and forth like here and there here and there like this you will have to switch back and forth to right because you're not able to we are not able to see the dom here so lots of effort is there but here now this is very easy suppose for any element you want to write selectors you simply inspect the element you are seeing the dom here you can directly start typing here whatever your selectors you want to type here so that you can easily do it here so this way it will be very fast and quick to build your own playwright selectors as well in selector server so now it has become so easy to write playwright selectors in selector server you will not have to waste any time while uh, like verifying selectors uh, <coughs> like while opening the uh, window here you need not to do that you see that simply you can just uh, uh, simply you would be able to verify them just by putting the value in selector sub and it has made a lot easier that you need not to run code and open new playwright window to verify selectors no need to switch between console and elements tab to see the see the dom you need not to type playwright dot dollar dollar again and again you need not to remember the command like playwright dot dollar or dollar dollar you just directly write playwright selector and verify as other selectors and x path because that has been in our habit that we just write the selectors and we press enter we don't we need not to remember one more new command to verify playwright selectors so that it has made a lot easier selectors of has made these things a lot easier and of course selectors of has used the playwright libraries in the background to verify such selectors playwright selectors so for that like we are really thankful to playwright team and uh really appreciate what uh the great you know uh great product they have built and here in selectors of you will get the proper error message for wrong playwright selectors or if you will be doing any typo or any error so that also it will help you to learn and grow so I hope uh, this tutorial and this new feature of selectors uh, will help you guys a lot to save a lot of time and all the playwright users will enjoy this feature and they will be able to save a huge amount of time. Thank you so much guys. Please let others know about this great innovative features of selectors uh, and let all the uh, playwright users and everyone know about this great innovation selectors. Uh. Thank you. Thank you so much guys. Thank you for watching. Keep sharing. Keep learning.